because you know we're very open about how much it costs. We're very open about you know the accommodation, the collection, the support that we try and give you. You know, making sure that we stay in touch with you, making sure that like we've got all your paperwork because there is a lot of paperwork. You got a grant if you, I remember. Yes, I you? got a grant from the university. It was a thousand pounds, I believe. I think it was a Go Global bursary. Um, so I just had to provide evidence before I was going of where I was going, what dates I was going, um, and then kind of provide them with updates while I was mm-hmm. out there. So you could either do it through social media or kind of write a blog or go and do uni talks. Um, I kind of just passed on information through to them for a newsletter. But <laughs> it's perfect. Um, that's really exciting because a lot of yeah. universities have grants and bursaries. Yeah. Um, and so if you can tap into them early enough, mm. you know, we have been helping students do that for ages now. We know what they're looking for. We're, we're basically checking your safety. We're looking at your health, you know, the health and safety of you while you are on placement. So that's really good that you managed to get that grant. And I actually remember signing the paperwork for yeah, that. Yeah, and you did it very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and how did you find yours? I didn't get a grant. I didn't think I was entitled to a grant. Interesting, as soon as you went to the same uni. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's based on your, was it based on your family? Yes, yeah. yes, I don't think okay. I was entitled to it, um, which is fine. So it's means testers. But I found it anyway. Yeah, I know. You know, and I raised half my fees, I raised 750 pounds. So I just did that through the uni, like begging people to buy my cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Can't please buy my cakes. So you literally, me. old school, bake sale, yeah. fundraise. Oh, really. That's really cool. And obviously my family helped me a lot. So. But anyway, Again, it's about sharing your experience, isn't it? I think fundraising is so scary to some people. And I've been fundraising for nearly a decade now. And I've, I've raised... never fundraised. It's terrifying. It can be terrifying, right? Yeah. But it's more about, again, sharing your story about why it's important to you, why yeah. people in your network should be interested in this. You know. I think a lot of people on my course were interested because, obviously, it's helping children. Obviously, I do child development. So I think it touched people what I was going to do. Mm. So then obviously people were more willing to, you know, especially if you talk, you gather on about it, people are like, oh yeah, that's amazing. Mm. Yeah, have my own. And it's, you know, it is an you know, amazing organisation, Bobby Bear. You know, we, we have, we're very honoured to be linked up with Bobby Bear and help them to find students, you know, and volunteers that want to give back and, and be involved and learn about how they've done this from scratch, you know. We, I think you can underestimate, so you work for probation, yeah. and social services exist in this country, and we just sort of, if you don't come to touch with social services, like you said, you quite like to work for them, but that exists, that comes out of this big structure that we have in place, whereas in South Africa, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Bobby Bear, Jackie, who founded Bobby Bear, started it from the back of her car, social services fundamentally from the back of a car, being like, oh, I can't believe this is happening to young people and how can I help? And we're going to talk about the bear in a minute and the edge toy. Um, these are amazing tools for young people to be able to feel safe enough to share the most traumatic thing that's ever happened to them. That's amazing. That should be supported.